feels like something out of a movie I've seen. That was the crossing. Well done, Lenny. Well done. Thanks for being a good boy. I smashed this pole here. It's alright, mate. <laughs> I'm here with you. Give it every time I leave. I'm Elena, and this is Riley, and this is our home, La Vagabond. <laughs> We've been sailing around the world for the last five years and have recently found ourselves with a stowaway. Meet Lenny. Subscribe and welcome aboard. After 10 days at sea, a fresh food shortage and running out of diesel, we had finally made it to Montauk in New York from the Bahamas. A little fishing village right at the end of Long Island. It's a thousand miles It feels like something out of a movie I've seen. It's beautiful. So we're going to go right past Stuart's dock and anchor in the lake because his boat's still there and he's leaving tomorrow so we can have the dock. There's our dock right there. There's Stuart on his boat. Look at this little plane. So this is where we anchored and this whole thing is a big lake and there's like beautiful houses everywhere. I've never seen him so happy with his food. Mm. Strawberries. <laughs> the heat of the commotion, and that's okay. Cause we're in motion. I can feel the sway. There's nothing to fear, my friend. No, no. It's the natural Colorado. And when the ground is shaking. What you doing in there? You being a good boy? Well, I don't know how much of that we got on film, really, because um, <laughs> everything was going great until I got about, well, maybe 20 meters from the poles, but I'd already committed to going in. and my reverse on the port side was not working so this side of the boat couldn't go backwards and the, the current's pushing us towards the poles so I smashed this pole here and um not even bad not that bad I heard a crack though so that was fun crossing review <laughs> Lennon Foster Whitelam, I think that you sailed 1,000 nautical miles as the crow flies. So I think it would be about 1,500, considering we had the false start. <laughs> had to backtrack. That storm closed the gate on us. 28, 29 knots now. Yeah, you know what? Let's just go now, Pete. Trying to sail in really, really light winds with a counter current. Gone from 1.8 to 2 knots. What's your head? VMG. <laughs> Instead of going here, we were sort of doing this a lot of the time, just going absolutely nowhere. 1,500 miles. I think we saw three different pods of dolphins. Oh, they're looking up. The marlin stole out. That was huge. Is it gone? Damn it. Yeah, that's the only downside to having a faster boat is because the fishing becomes a bit more difficult. I forgot how much that I love doing these crossings. Elena and I 
used to really move quite fast and I think we can do it now with Lenny. Yeah. Would you say? It's that was a really good test. Possible, like I want to keep going. That yeah. was amazing. It's so good for so many different reasons. You're on a detox from humans and internet. You're and out in the blue. Distractions. You can, and yeah, and a world of distractions. Everything that's important becomes very apparent. I'm scared me. I've turned into the biggest boat nerd. He's a proper boat I'm nerd like, now. Look, just watching different boats and how they sail and designing catamarans and looking at wind angles and just talking about it incessantly. Mm, I actually getting pretty feel annoying. so sorry for you. Mm. Okay. It's like a bowl of it's pasta. It's like a bowl of pasta. Yeah, you can never just eat a little bit of pasta, you have to eat the whole thing. So yeah. now that you've like dipped your toes in this like racing world and faster boats and like autonomous vessels and all this kind of stuff, you're just obsessed. Yeah. Mm. So, that was the crossing. Well done, Lenny. Well done. Thanks for being a good boy. I'm here with you! <laughs> you see Dad? Uh, ready? <laughs> Where are we going, Captain Lenny? Port or starboard at the gate, Lenny. So we made it to the marina and right across here is a beautiful white sandy beach which we're gonna go check out. We saw it when we were um, motoring past and we came in the channel and it looks stunning. It's so green. Apparently there's like lots of deer around, which we've seen, and lots of ticks. So we have to like look over our bodies and especially Lenny's body every day. Too bad. Dropping off stuff that we don't need. Always going through the boat, making sure we don't need stuff. You can't get this stuff. <laughs> we gotta go buy it. <laughs> All right, ladies, show us the way. Let's do this. So that was Joy and her daughter Shannon. They've lived here in Montauk for ages. They pretty much adopted us as soon as we arrived, and it was honestly the best thing ever. This morning they took us to the trash and choker. Lenny was in need of a few pieces of winter clothes and everything here goes for a dollar or two to raise money for the local community. Hang on, Lenny likes them. <laughs> How cute. <laughs> what a precious baby. <laughs> That's a win, Lenny. Be gentle, Lenny. That's all right. That's okay. <laughs> Bye-bye. All right, Lenny's bored. Time to go home. Joy, these muffins are too good to be true. So good. Yes, we're watching. <laughs> I'm watching too. Yeah. Oh, so good. Excellent. Victory Then I will proceed. <laughs> yeah, we're still watching. Yeah, I can this see is good you, stuff. Man. I'm honestly just blown away by that. Mm. 
Hey guys, I just wanted to share with you our SLV Essential Sale Guide if you haven't got it already. Um, yeah, Riley and I made it. It's got six how-to videos as well. And it's all that we've learnt over the past five years we've been sailing. Things we wish we had have known when we first started. But we learnt everything the hard way. So yeah, if you think you might find this useful, grab it. It's 20 bucks. Link's in the description below. I talk about seasickness. Um, Riley goes into boat maintenance, what kind of boat to buy based on your needs, a bunch of stuff and we'd really appreciate the support. Thank you, enjoy the rest of the episode. We could hear some music coming from across the lake. We had to investigate. Had a lovely night out with some young people, and Lenny made us come home. <laughs> Guys, he's got his canine teeth coming through, so he's just like a menace, and he was like trying to compete. Lenny, let go. <laughs> he's trying to compete with all the sound. But anyway, we went to um, the Surf Lodge, which is this really cool place where apparently they have like a different theme every few nights, like a different crowd there. So. Tonight we got the kind of old person crowd. Lenny, don't pull that. No. <laughs> no. Go to bed. But yeah, no, it was um it was really good to hang around some young people, hey. It's nice. Yeah. We're home some now. Some of them were younger than Lenny. They were, yeah, lots of babies. No. No, because then we have to clean the lens again. Lenny. Did you have a good night? Yes, I did. It was a bit uh, annoying when Lenny started going just completely bananas and mm. we had to leave. Mm. But it was good. We got a good three hours of fun, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. I'd say two and a half. <laughs> or I'd say one and a half. <laughs> There's something in the moon that tells you I've lost. The second I know, decide, know I should run. Cause I've been, I've been, all your bitter thoughts. I've been, I've been, all your bitter thoughts. It's alright, it's alright, it's alright, it's alright. I hope so. Not sponsored. Oh my goodness, it's perfect size. Single use plastic. Of course. <laughs> Safe and sound. <laughs> Let's see how long this lasts for. You happy? Yay! Living on a boat is kind of like enforced minimalism, like whether you like it or not, you just can't take everything with you. And Elena and I sometimes argue about that. Those packages arrived, I was like, oh, no. and I can mm -hmm. honestly feel my heart rate go up. It's like, it causes great anxiousness. It turns out there was little things in all these big packages. So there was, what was there, baby food for Lenny. Coffee, some electrical stuff, Lenny's crib. Lenny's big crib down here was the main thing. And a, oh, and a giant pan, I accidentally ordered With the wrong size. a huge size. handle. It's awesome though. Which <laughs> we'll have to return. Too big, I know. I hate it. I hate returning things. <laughs> so we got through that without an argument. 
Woohoo! Well done. Well done, team. <laughs> Even I was surprised when the man came. When he got all the boxes out of the van, I was like, I don't think these are all for me. Like, check it, has LeVagabond written on him. He's like, yep, LeVagabond, LeVagabond, LeVagabond. I was like, okay. And he's like, do you want some help? And I'm like, I think I'm going to need some help. So he take his wheelie thing down here and I took mine. And then just, I was like, the really, land of Amazon. really nervous as to the what Rowdy would Amazon. say. But yeah, it's like, it was just, they just pack everything so beautifully and they don't need to. But yeah, I got coffee, heaps of baby food because that crossing made me realise like I never want Lenny to go without. You're happy about... for us to run out and for me to have to eat past the 10 times in a row. You know, we'll survive, but I think now just because his like brain is developing, I don't want him He's to... He's not starving. No, but I mean like I don't want him to be without spinach for a few weeks, you know, like, or vitamin C. Well, you want him to have a well-rounded diet I do. at all times. I don't want him to go without, so I ordered a lifetime We're supply talking about you. of extra baby food. That's good mothering. Because I make his baby food, but when we're out, I can't do that, so you're going to be okay. Bye. Yeah, these, this is, these are my boat glasses. Oh, you like my boat glasses. <laughs> this is, it'd be yeah. like when you adjusted your father's glasses when yeah, you were a kid and I, said, yeah, oh, this is glasses. cricket. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we have... These are adorable. Who have we got here? Uh, John yep. and Judy from Bermuda on, on a Grand Soleil 50. And Amazing. we've been following you for three years and we're patrons and yeah. it's just wonderful and we're the you're the only people we follow yes really yeah, yeah. 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 the only people we follow yeah wow it's amazing great. Yeah. and all of a sudden john showed me a picture that he'd actually painted of elaine and myself and lenny and it was incredible so he's an architect and an artist amongst other things he draws all of his creations he told us on airplanes if you're into that sort of thing give him a follow on instagram and i'll put the link in the description below Lol, you guys. <laughs> this is the biggest pan I think I've ever seen. I don't know how I accidentally ordered a 14 inch pan. That would seriously do some damage. <laughs> we don't carry weapons on board, but can get out the pan if I need. <laughs> Look out, pirates. Thanks for watching guys. Next week Riley finds some new fishing friends and we give you the inside scoop on the fishing industry up here. And we finally get rid of the scurvy. Come on.